Do you want to send an email from your Linux command line? Of course you do. I know you want to. I know you do because you asked for it. So I'm going to show you some ways to do it. The ways to do it directly, actual commands, we can do it, and then implement some examples. We'll show you how to alert when someone logs into your server so you can keep an eye out on them, an eye out on them. Then we shall also do a little daily report of your server's health. Let's do that, shall we? Email. Very good. Electronic mail, I'm sure you've heard of it before. How email works is you talk to an SMTP server and say, hello, I'd like to transfer some mail. So normally you need authentication for this, but you can use a local mail server, MTA, mail transfer agent they're called, installed on your local machine. Yeah, so I'm using Postfix on my desktop, there you go, you can see it's running there. Obviously you just install that easily. And then to talk to Postfix, unsecure Postfix running SMTP, to talk to it you talk to port 25. So that's talk to port 25 using Talnet. Talnet will let you connect to a, a port on a server. So yeah, with the first command we want to type in, you just type it in. So we, you type hello, like hello server, I want to send an email. And then you say who you are. So I am, you can actually pretend to be anyone here. So because we don't use authentication for this SMTP server, it will just let you log in. Who's a fun person to pretend to be? We can be the Zuck. We can zuck ourselves. HelloFacebook.com. So then you put your from address. Mail from zuck at facebook.com. And you do mail to. I'm going to put my email address in here. Don't spam me. Error nested mail command. Oh, you put receipt to. Sorry. Like that. Um, so you put receipt to, not mail to. Whoop. Now you put data in. The zuck. So it's just freeform data, and you end it by putting a dot on its own. Bam, like that, and then that message goes queued. And it'll likely go to my spam because it's not authenticated, the headers will be all gobbledygook according to the email client. So it'll probably get put to my spam and it'll take a while to arrive. So it's arrived. So it actually says from zuck at facebook.com, so this is how you can scam people. Don't do that. You can actually modify the reply to address so it won't go back to zuck, so it can go back to you. It's in spam, it will always go to spam, it's called a very high spam score, and the message headers will be all bad. So I don't even know if this will even go through to a Gmail address, for example. Yeah, that's also how you send email with uh, Linux on the command line directly. Obviously, this is a pain, so now I'm on my server that runs my website. So MailX will basically do everything we've just done for you. You don't have to type in the hard commands, right? The subject you want, so we actually want to just, hello there. And who you want to go to? And then you press Control D, and then that'll send. If you look here, it's from root. So the user I am on this server. So it's root at the host name. So root at mark.minami.g. These might go to your spam. Be careful. I've pre-authorized this user. So let's say we're going to use this for server notifications. We can actually specify this user root here. We don't want that as root, we want that to be server notification. So you put the name in, so when you do emails you've got the name. This could be anything, like that, there we go. If you send things to MailX as standard input, it will use it as the body text for the email. Body text, this is a notif, like that, bam. Okay, so there we go, that worked. There we go, so now you see it's from server notif, and it says body text, this is a notif. Fine. Good. Sending mail this way isn't really suitable for other people except yourself, because it will likely go to spam and won't look very professional, and replying to it is a bit iffy. So that's cool enough, and we could prank our friends by pretending to zuck them. Mark, give me the zuck. Mark, give me the zuck. So you can zuck people like that, you can prank them. Don't do anything unethical with it, please. So we can use this for alerting, say. So if I SSH to this server, right, I log in as root because I'm bad, I got this email here. Um, I actually just checked my phone then because my phone beat because I got the email email here that says the server name and then SSH user, whatever user you logged into, login detected. And it's from my server root to me. It says the IP address. It says my IP address there. You won't be able to see that because I will have hidden it because I'm paranoid. Yeah, so now we get a, an email whenever someone logs in. So if someone logs in that we're not expecting, no, 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 no. That's bad. So how I've done that, so there's this thing called PAM, pluggable authentication module. Basically, you can say after someone's successfully connected with SSH, run this script, right? Just just check that you can support PAM before doing something like this. Just grab for PAM. There we go. Use PAM, yes, if that's set, you're all good. So we've got this file called pam.d slash SSHD. And if I tail that, uh, I've added this line. Basically, after SSHD is executed, it will run this script here. So Etsy PAM scripts SSH alert. So if we look in this, really simple. We declare who we're sending it to, the subject line, pam user is an environment variable set by pam, so that's the root. IP address, pam, our host, the host that it's coming from, my IP address, um, bod, body, text. Uh, and so if pam type equals open session, this is important because this SHD pam will also send if the user disconnects, but we don't care about that, we only care if they 
are connecting. So if they're opening a session, they're not closing one. So if they're opening a session, it basically sends that into MailX with the subject and the two. Simple, right? So yeah, that tells us whenever someone logs in with SSH, that gets called. Cool. So another example, we could use this to generate a daily report of our server so we can see the goings on on our server in a nice little email. So we don't even have to connect or even be near a computer. We just need an email client to get information on our server. So I have written a script called daily server report dot sh link in the description. What this does, we declare who we're sending it to. You'll have to change that if you want to use this. Um, by the way, I wrote this in like 10 minutes, so there could be could be bugs here um, if you find any. Make a pull request. Yep, so from here we actually specify server notif and then root at whatever. Um, again, this could be anything. Subject, it's the daily server report. I brainstormed, I was like, what do I actually want? I want the uptime of the server, how much space I've got left. This might be different for you, STA1. Change that. And then we use a fancy command here to Display the top processes by memory and CPU, because that could be interesting, even though it's kind of not useful, because it's a snapshot. The best one here would probably to run something like ATOP or SAR or whatever, and, and get the top processes of the day. So the ones that were causing the most problems. And then we also get a nice quote from this neat little API I found. I don't believe there's any usage limits. I, I found one that limited me to five. And it was like, what? But yeah, so this gets the quote and then just the quote in the author and none of the other metadata. And then here's the magic. So we actually use the, the mailx command again. This thing here is a bash thing that basically says anything up to EOF it put as standard input into this command. So this is like echoing all this into this mailx command, right? So we play the uptime, place the three on the server, the CPU processes, the memory, and then the nice quote. And then we also write have a nice day. And so that gets to the end of the file. And then it's like, okay, I'm gonna read all this and fire it up to there, all of that, uh, and then fire it into the MailX command. Let's run that. So that runs, it gets sent to me. So it gets sent to me. Here we've got the uptime of our server. We've got the space for 19%. Need to take a look at that. Then we get some my top processes. But yeah, we can see it's from server notif and has the daily server report. And then and we get this nice quote. So life is so constructed and the event does not, cannot, will not match the expectation. Charlotte brought to. Let's run that again. There we go. And we get a new so this is all updated now. Again, we've got different processes showing why it's not really that useful. A different quote. If you're going to achieve excellence in big things, you develop the habit in little matters. Excellence is not an exception, it's a prevailing attitude. Colin Pearl. I don't know who he is. So if we wanted to run this every day, we'd move this file to cron.daily, and that would mean it would run whenever our cron.daily decides to run, which is normally around 6.30 a.m. So we get a nice little report at 6.30 a.m. Daily server report. So everything in here runs every day. Uh, I'll explain more in the R snapshot video. <laughs> if you're wondering what a giant dump is that's <laughs> that is a script to do all my Postgres backup. So I back up my database once a day. Now you could obviously do this to do anything though, anything you want to email, you can just put it in a cron and fling it off to you. If you'd want to do, say, the API that we built in the last video, plug my own video here or there, everywhere, we made the cryptocurrency API. Yeah, with that API, we can then, say, get the Bitcoin and Ethereum price and then email it to us in a nice email every day. So every day we get a little digest as the cool kids would call it, of all the cryptos we want to know about. Anything you can get from the internet, you can basically package up in a cron and then use MailX to email it to you, right? So yeah, I hope you learned something. And now you know how to use MailX to send yourself emails from the command line, from the Linux command line. Very cool.